Slab City, also known as the Slabs, is located in California's Saronan Desert, a place where people can choose to come because for whatever reason, they were rejected or couldn't fit into today's society. But I do have this weird thing with can cannibalism. And maybe here in Slab City, they get that second shot at life. That you make if, if you start looking for trouble and, you know, barking yeah. up the trees that we all know yeah. and in trouble, you'll find it. They told us that we shouldn't come here. In fact, some people said we would get robbed or even worse. Welcome to Slab City, America's only lawless city. First street, then turn left onto California 111 South. So we're currently in the town of Indio. Slab City is one hour and 10 minutes drive from here. The guy that we just <laughs> spoke into the in the car park said it was a dangerous place. Yeah. Is it dangerous? Yeah. Yeah? Is it? Just smile and be happy. <laughs> uh, they might not come out with as happy as me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks for, the, thanks for the advice. I think when we get there, we'll feel, won't we, maybe? Yeah, I think I think when I you go think... to when you go to these kind of places, I think you, you have to sense for yourself what it's like. Maybe yeah. it's a different place at night time. I'm not sure whether we'll sleep over. We'll yeah, have to just see how it goes. We should commit to that. Because... I'm not committing to anything. Okay, because I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, we're going. Let's go to Slab City. I've actually got mixed feelings about Slab City. What do you think? Uh, I've got a lot of faith in humanity and I've got a lot of faith in people. So I'm thinking it's lawless, but people are generally no right from wrong. So that's how I feel. <laughs> With the uh, milder climates down here in uh, California, there does seem to be more homeless people. Um, but I guess that if you're gonna be out on the street, it's better to be in the warmer climates than uh, up north where by now, because it's winter, it would be absolutely freezing. <laughs> suddenly gone really uh, tropical palm trees. I guess, yeah, it looks like palm oil because you can see the bags oh, yeah. covering up something in the trees. Is it palm oil maybe? Yeah, palm oil. The side just behind the row of palm trees is all vineyards, but uh, California is uh, known for its wine and orange trees. There's loads and loads of orange trees. We're just driving along. There's water and Marianne was like, this is a good place to see the sea. I'm like, love, we're in the middle of America. We're nowhere near the sea. But then I just looked at the name of the lake and it's actually called the Sultan Sea. I don't know why it's called a sea when it's a lake. That looks a nice park up. And instead we're going to Slab City. What's wrong with us? <laughs> there is something clearly deficient with the way we live. According to Google Maps, we're only halfway along this sea. You can literally see it going on all the way into the distance. So maybe it's the size that determines the name the sea. Although the Great Lakes are bigger and they're not called seas. So there are actually like little communities. You can see one here up by the, uh, by the mountains there. They call them snowbirds over here uh, in North America. 
where uh, they literally head south during winter and they're made up mainly of RVers that uh, come to the desert to find warmer climates during uh, those winter months up in uh, North, North America. So as we're driving, we're just having this discussion. Trudy is covered in uh, YouTube signs and I'm not sure how an off-grid community um, is going to accept a van covered in YouTube signs. A foreign van, they'll be thinking, why are you here? As we always say, normally the best times in life are when you go beyond your fear. So we're feeling a little bit nervous about going here. So this might end up being a really nice story and something you know that we'll remember. And one of our Patreons, Clint, actually says, when he travels, and we completely agree with this, you know, you go to learn and to understand and experience somebody else's culture and beliefs. You don't go there to teach them how they should live or exactly. put your life experiences on them. So um, hopefully uh, they're as open-minded as we are. Okay, so we are turning off the main road and we now have 4.2 miles um, heading off into the desert. Yeah, so yeah, just going through this, uh, yeah, this little neighborhood first. The and then... feet, turn right onto Isis Avenue. Of the railway lines. So we've got a, a couple of miles to go and uh, just to be on the safe side, we're gonna put our valuables uh, in the back, lock them away um, just in case. And I know that's a pretty hyped up reaction, um, but to because be everything we own is in this van. Yeah, and we and do that in every city we go to. We do that in every Walmart car park and everywhere. If we're gonna go out yeah. of the van, we lock everything away. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing now. But that RV is literally scraping around the floor. The van that went past, the caravan's literally just lost his wheel. Yeah, he's actually scraping along the floor, but the guy's gone to pick up the wheel. Valuables all locked up, heading into Slab City. The, uh, the guys where the wheel fell off the caravan are trying to put the wheel back on, but it's scraping down the road. I mean, they've got no hope at all. Just check they're okay. You okay? Hi guys, are you okay? I don't know. Oh, that's quite bad. You've got the equipment though. You've got the jack up. Okay. Be safe. Can't really help them when the whole wheel bracket's fallen off. Two miles to go. It's a, a very dodgy road, this one, that's for sure. Ordinarily it's not dodgy, but because of Trudy's rattly um, boot for the steering block, she's she's really rattling. She's she singing, you can hear it. Yeah. So we're coming in now. I think that's one place we should uh, should definitely go into. We could probably park park down here and walk over. So that's a little bit mad. It actually looks like there's some kind of film crew there. I don't know, are they shooting a movie or something? But we'll go and see if we can go and have a look. Yeah. Reese Witherspoon is shooting a movie here um, called The Whisper Network. I wasn't expecting to see a movie set here today. <laughs> How cool is this little uh, truck here? But they've created this wonderful religious monument as you come into uh, Slab City. Hi, 
Hi guys, how you doing? Did you guys build this? Uh, Leonard Knight built it, but he passed on and you know, we could do You're the guardians. This is fantastic. Is this the literally just on painted onto the dirt? It's just, is it just um, painted? Adobe, Adobe clay. Oh, okay. So here you go. This is an impressive mountain. They're, they're in between filming shots now, so we can have a look. But look at this. It is literally painted on Adobe. It's not straight onto the, uh, onto the earth. And they've got all these paint pots here. The gentleman we were talking to was saying that they have to just keep painting, painting it constantly because it keeps, keeps shifting and cracking. It's an amazing thing, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of work that's gone into maintaining it. Some of the cave areas you can't go into because there's actually a risk that they might fall down and collapse on your head. Like this one. But there is one in here you can go into. <laughs> wow. Look at this. They've got all the uh, the decor on the ceiling, but this is all literally. You can see the uh, the material that is dirt, some straw, yeah, and then just uh, just painted on. Absolutely amazing. The work and the amount of paint that has gone into that is absolutely phenomenal. Built by Leonard Knight. Uh, started in 1984 and has been going on ever since. The guys we were just chatting to that actually live here um, were so nice and such a warm welcome. And uh, we're saying that uh, we can sleep in the town and there's some places to park up and there's a campsite and there's even a library. Okay, so we've uh, left there now and we're Heading into Slab City, you can see all these uh, little uh, RVs and trailers and places where people have set up home. It really is a uh, community in the desert here look lots of uh, people staying here and it's big look how big it is so we're just driving along and they got this uh, display of uh, of shoes here i think the uh, the community is quite arty so i think they try and create things uh, to make the place look a bit a bit more arty unusual So all the way across there, you've got uh, little communes here. This one, the Church of Enlightenment. Be here now. That's kind of like a building I expected to see. It's looks like a lookout. Ship. It looks like a lookout, but doesn't it, actually, it? Yeah, but I feel it looks like a pirate ship. Look, it's got like a ladder to go out. There's like a lookout. This all feels quite surreal. Bird sanctuary and botanical gardens, <laughs> Dr. Spencer's. I think everyone's just doing their thing, aren't they, to yeah. create their own place in this little society group. Yeah, so people must go out and fetch their water. And then bring it back. And then bring it back in. Yeah, because there won't be any mains water down here. Your Everyone is super friendly and waving. Yeah, everybody has stopped to say hi and wave. But maybe... And we were worried about how they would receive us, but they Hey, at the moment, yeah. everybody's really super nice. Yeah. Fallout shelter and eco village. I'm loving that. How cool Plus is home that? For wayward girls. It's a home for wayward girls. I love that. I think the library here. must be must be down here. Uh, 
My name is Aurora. Really <laughs> Welcome to Slime City Library. There's no library cards or due dates. If you see something you like, please feel free to just check it out. Uh, you don't even need to return it if you can't or don't want to. Uh, we operate solely on donation, but it's not required. There's a seating area out back. There's cold drinks, beer, wine, soda, water, and let me know if you have any questions. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Very professionally done, may I say. Best library ever. Yeah, I think it has Let's all have a beer now. Let's all drink, yay. <laughs>We have a friendly community that we've met, all from different places. Not from Slab City, but, from Slab City, the but they're all visiting yeah. Slab City. Is it all one of the actually. friendliest places you've ever been? It might be, yeah. yeah. Everyone's so smart here. Yeah. Really? It feels really relaxed, right? Don't you think? It feels yeah. relaxed. Oh, yeah. That's the desert vibe. All your homies hate dolphins? Did you know that okay, dolphins, we need side dolphins made fast food to subtly kill the poor people? <laughs> there's there's a whole sculpture at East Jesus about how dolphins are the root of all evil. Uh, dolphins, whose okay. team are they on anyway? <laughs> Aurora was saying that apparently this was an army base in World War II. And what happened was after World War, they didn't need the base, so they destroyed it all, but left the concrete slabs. Hence the fact it's called Slab City. But all the way along this side uh, of the city towards the mountains is a military target base. And apparently um, at night, sometimes you hear bombs going off and see things shooting across the sky from Apache helicopters and oh, wow. things like that. So, um, that could be quite cool. If we hear machine guns, we don't have to uh, suddenly jump behind the bushes. We were talking, we've spoken to a few different people and a lot of people have said, we're all here because we're not all there. And I think that's obvious, you know, this isn't necessarily where somebody who's got all their shit together, as they would say, would live. But they've made it their home and they've made it the best that they can have. I love the sign on that, that one house. You loot, we shoot. <laughs> Come meet Dot. Oh, you got a cat. Yes. So you are the famous Dot. The famous Dot. Dot. The Dot of Slab City. Amazing. Well, nice to have you guys. Papa. Nice to have you. I love the happy, positive vibe, yes. Dot. Yes. I love Mickey Mouse. I used to have to dress up as this this character, like when I was a kid, and I would do like kids' birthday parties. Yeah. They always picked Mickey Mouse. It was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love you know, that. We've had the most positive experience here. You know, you know more than anyone. The media is like, oh, you're going to, this is going to happen and that's going to happen. You might die. You're going to get robbed. You're going to get murdered. And we have not had anything but positivity. We've had so many waves coming through the city. Yeah. It's, been just been, it's, it's been really nice. Have you been um, here a long time? Almost three years. Oh, mm. wow. Yeah, full time too. Yeah. Year mm. round. So this is how I feel. The slabs is 100% what you make of it, which yeah. is exactly. life in general, right? It's good for So the decisions that you make, if, if you start looking for trouble and, you know, barking yeah. up the trees that we all know yeah. end in trouble, You'll find it, but yes. if you if you're not, if you're just doing your thing and letting other people do their thing, you'll have like no and you'll real smile issues. and you're happy at yeah. people. Everybody's happy yeah. back, but that's just yeah. a life lesson, isn't yeah. it? Is this for us to go and visit as well? Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, and I hope your <laughs> shoes don't get dirty in there. <laughs> this is a spooky corner. A spooky corner, Dart. It is. It's yeah. like witchcraft meets desert skeleton find. Yeah, there's a picture here that is of a woman named Valerie. Yes. And I found her picture yes. with the dress and the crystal ball and various <gasps> other things. And so then when somebody gave me this amazing skeleton, I yeah. was like, I'm gonna recreate this. And where skeleton. did you find that? It all came in this donation from someone who'd passed away. Oh. And so, I mean, it was just kind of a fun thing for me to put it all back together, yeah. but it's I also fun that. to kind of imagine what, what more to the story could be. So keep going, there's more yeah. back there. Oh, there's yeah. more. Yeah, we found like a little baby in the cage there. She's Obviously. Bad. Yeah. It's a bad, bad baby. A bad baby, yeah. yeah. 
She's, uh, I think yeah. she's not feeling so good. Yeah. Morning, yeah. parents, don't try this at home. Right. Okay. We got a, a deer's head. Who's the guy in the picture? That's my cousin. Cousin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know whether you know somebody's not looking so good in the bath. Yeah, we've got various degrees of decaying <laughs> with my, my my mermaid sisters. <laughs> none of them are doing well. <laughs> don't bring mermaids to the desert. We dry out. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take the bottles and make the floor for like what my bathroom's gonna be. So this one has a little oh, heart. Oh, I like and that. Okay, so amazing. And then this one has a little anchor. Oh, that's oh. nice. Your head. Yeah, no okay. worries. Too so tall. I don't know if I'll have enough um, bottles to do a bottle wall and a bottle floor. That's four years worth of bottles that I've okay. collected. And I mean, if I don't want to advocate more drinking, but I'm going to have to uh, say it. <laughs> You know what the problem is? You can't drink out of the box. You have to commit to drinking bottled Bottles, wine. Yeah, right? absolutely. It. It's, and, it's and a tragedy. It's, it's a <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not good. Is that your bed? Well, not this time of year. I would freeze. But wow, but, yeah. how lovely. Yeah. You sleep oh, that's your summer, your summer outside bed. I love that. So we'll walk around this way so you can see my friend Honor's piece oh, that he did wow. here. That is an amazing picture. Yeah, if you get on over here, is that painted? Yeah. He did. He does that freehanded with just a picture and spray paint. Well, he's seriously talented. It, no, that's like a yeah. can of spray paint, isn't it? Yeah. The taxidermy okay, he, 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 he dinner party. Question, but you know, I I do love horror flicks. I love <laughs> crazy ideas in storylines. Yeah. But I do have this weird thing with can cannibalism. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. So we're going this into the taxidermy dinner party, which is really more okay. of a take on deer eating people than people eating people. Um, so this is, you know. <laughs> oh, oh the deer are eating the people this rather is, than the yeah. rather than the other way around. Yeah. The so, chop shop. I yeah. love that, and it's got like human eyeballs yeah, and right. stuff yeah. like that. So yeah. the deer are eating the humans. So There's like heads dinner. and hats yeah. and. Well, this is this is it. like a vegan's like yeah. dream. This is what vegans yeah. would dream of, isn't it? Rainbow jacket, but it's happy. Yeah. It's a happy. Right, they're so great. You get them in quartzite. So if you make it to quartzite, there's a lady there cool. that has tons of these. Okay. I'm thinking there would Excellent. be would be very cool. Okay. It's and then it's memories. We'll remember Dot forever that yeah. you put that on the van. Yeah. And then we put that That's on. Great. Our little That's memory of Slab That's City. Wonderful. Look at that. I think I did a pretty good I reckon job. that's pretty oh, cool. Okay. That's a high Excellent. five. Right on. <laughs> Thank, you so Thank you so much. It's been absolutely I lovely. I follow you guys. I want to see where your journey takes you. This is so yeah. fun. Thank you. So here you go. East Jesus. Yeah, we've left Dot. Uh, she said quickly go down before the sun sets. It's a bit of an outside art exhibition here in Slab City and it does actually close at sundown which is just about now wow look at this the whole place is just full of art and uh, creations golf course it's all these dolls are a bit freaky shoe display I got some monster lab waste that's amazing that would be very welcome at the bus fest in England. <laughs> it's actually pretty surreal walking, walking through here. How did we end up in Slab City? Because we were told not to come. <laughs> it does actually remind me something of uh, Mad Max out in the desert.
but it's just a wonderful place with a wonderful community feel. Okay, the sun is going down here in Slab City and we need to go and find somewhere to park up. Apparently, Mojo's campsite just uh, down the road. Uh, it's nice to support the local community and uh, we thought we'd go and uh, park up there, chill for the night and uh, see what happens. Mojo's camp, there we go, down here. Mojo's on the left. But you can take it if you wanted to. But yeah. These are all, all, these are all of it. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Any one of these is cool for us. So we're all parked up at the campsite yeah. here in Slab City. And at the moment, it all seems really quiet. I am surprised that it's so quiet, but it is really quiet. I think we might be in for an okay night's sleep. I might be speaking too soon. If we wake up in the night, we will share it with you. But if not, we will see you in the morning. Mm -hmm. oh. Good morning. We had a really, really quiet, dark night's sleep. In fact, it's probably one of the quietest nights we've had for a long time, don't you reckon? It was lovely. Really, really quiet and peaceful. There was the odd person wandering around, but you didn't feel unsafe at all. It's about um, half past seven in the morning now. It's very quiet. Everybody is still asleep, I think. As we said, we've uh, we've had a really good time here. Um, but it, remember, it is really uh, pretty well a lawless city. There are no police stations here. So because it's such a tight-knit community, when there are disputes or problems uh, between themselves, they sort it out themselves because nobody else is going to sort it out for them. So we're uh, chatting to the uh, the people in the city they kind of, you know, said it's not always safe. There are are some areas that are worse than others. There are sometimes um, disputes where they set fire to each other's camps. Although it's, uh, we've had a really good experience here. Um, it doesn't mean that it's always going to be like that. <laughs> so there's a. Uh, platform viewing point here in the campsite wow that gives you an aerial view of the whole city and we couldn't see it when we uh, first arrived because it was dark so yeah so this is the uh, the way we came in and then uh, in the video we came in dots is over this side east jesus is over this side salvation mountain is over there there's Trudy, the library is over there, and this is an aerial view of the uh, campsite where we stayed last night. Well, it was a quiet morning until we woke the dog up. <laughs> Yesterday morning, we woke up <clears throat> nervous, thinking, is it going to be as dangerous as the internet says, as everyone warned us? Mm. And uh, I'm not saying they don't have, they don't have problems here. Um, of course. Like anywhere, they do. All societies. Exactly. But I think uh, I think it's nice to come and experience these places for yourself and make your own judgment. And uh, we've had a great time. We've met some wonderful characters. Yeah. And, and we've uh, seen some beauty and we've seen some chaos. Absolutely. But I think it's a perfect blend of just people being people. So yeah, I was I was lying in bed last night thinking we escaped the nine to five and uh, we have an alternative lifestyle now and really we're not that different from the people that are living here who have also for whatever reason escaped their lives mm -hmm. and are um, living out here in the Californian desert so I think uh, we have a little a little connection we're a little bit more similar than I think we think we realize. 
<laughs> yeah.